Hey there troopers, Dan here again, Cable Guy. A few days ago, or a little while ago, I posted some images of the alignment of the bicep to the forearm and went into detail showing how the cover strips align. I think the natural assumption, which is what I was guilty of for a long time, is that the cover strip on the bicep, you'd naturally think, oh yeah, that should just line up nice and straight with the forearm. That makes sense, and I must say that's what I always used to recommend. But then looking at it again, especially with the more accurate armors on the market, it might be different with some of the slightly more generic armor kits, but with the more accurate ones, if you look at all the reference photos, and there are some on Stormtrooper Armory, which I'll probably put up now through the magic of editing, the bicep and the forearm cover strips, they don't actually align. Uh, and that's to do with where the, nearly not the camera over, that's to do with where the elastic is glued, the position that's glued in. And also, when you then look at it from the side, that's how the detailing on here actually aligns nicely. Again, that's more apparent, obviously, the more accurate your armor is, the more that's gonna be apparent. If it's, uh, as I say, slightly more generic armor, that might not be the case. But when I looked at the RS suit, I noticed they had a picture of it similar to this. They had a picture of it with the elastic folded over someone was measuring the distances here or something and I noticed that the bicep the elastic is very close to the cover strip line in here the join line where it's been butt jointed uh, but the bicep sorry the forearm the bigger part the forearm is much nearer to the middle not near the edge so again your assumption might be oh okay well if I line it up here next to the cover strips I should just run that straight down here next to the cover strip that's not how they appear to be all the reference photos I've looked at. The bicep sits here, just inside of the cover strip line, but the forearm is much nearer to the middle. And that is exactly why when the stormtroopers are stationary like that, and they're just sort of standing still, you will see that this one jets off at an angle like that. It doesn't line up with the bicep. And that's the same on the other side. Again there, it's mounted nearer to the middle. The you can see that inside if I just turn it on that way, there you go. So there's quite a big distance here, whereas on the bicep, there's hardly any distance in there at all. It's almost glued right next to the cover strip line. And that again helps it when it sits naturally like this and it hangs naturally, it's got that sort of L shape. Let's just move the camera up a bit so I can move that away. There you go. Not an L shape, sorry. It just, it has a, uh, a tilt to it. If that was a natural arm, that's the way it would sit. And you'll notice that that's when the arms are straight on screen used suits, or of course then when they've got their arm bent like that, obviously that gives it that movement when they're holding their blaster. And again, you will notice that is quite common. And also, as I say, that does then help to line up the detailing on the back of the bicep through to the detailing on the forearm. Again, if that's just sitting naturally like that, it does line up. If you twist this round to line up the bicep and the, the cover strips like that, if I line up the cover strips there, when you turn this round, the detailing on the side then doesn't match. So that's the forearms. As I say, just have a look for yourself at the reference photos. Uh, go to whitearmor.net and have a look in the gallery. That's where I've seen most of my images from. Just to discuss the shoulder belts as well. The shoulder belts, when you've got these on, again, if you look at all the reference photos, don't be tricked into just cutting them straight. I don't know whether you can actually see this. Let's try and get that against that black background. There you go, you can see there's a curve to the armor. So it actually curves out and then back into the shoulder. So it basically drops down and then curves in. Hopefully that's apparent. It's difficult to quite get it actually. I can even see on the camera now myself. There you go, you can see it on that angle. Dips right the way in. So that basically then allows it to sort of conform to the chest. So again, just have a look at the reference photos and you will see there is a slight curve to from the bottom up to the top. And again, that's then apparent on both. Let's see if you can see it on this one. I'll try and get that so it's nearly flat. Yeah, there you go. You can see it's curving away towards the bottom. So don't just think, oh yeah, I'll cut them straight up because that means you're more likely to have a gap between the shoulder bell and the chest. Might redo this elastic as well, that's a bit floppy. 
but there you go. Anyway, so that's it. The main thing I wanted to cover there was the bicep alignment. And then as I say, it was just really to touch on the shoulder bells as well. That's all for now. Catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.